Hi guys, I wanted to share with you some new information that I've received. I made a video yesterday questioning the quarantine, the lockdown, all that's going on, this mayhem in the world. Um, if you want to check it out, you can, but we're moving on because I have some brand new information. Um, I had questioned yesterday the legality of the lockdown. I said, where are they getting this authority? The legislature hasn't passed a law saying they get to do this. But I was wrong. So here is uh, part of the law. It's Title 50, Health and Safety. This goes over uh, what our local health officers, our local health boards for our counties get to do. So let's take a look at this bad boy. And I'm going to make it as interesting as possible. Um, it is, you know, legal speakage. So I'm going to try not to make it dry because it is important for you to know. So the powers and duties of local health officers, here's one of their powers. They can take steps to limit contact between people in order to protect the public health from imminent threats, including, but not limited to, ordering the closure of buildings or facilities where people congregate and canceling events. They can also establish and maintain quarantine and isolation measures as adopted by the local board of health. Now, that in and of itself, you're kind of just picture like a health officer running around with a whistle in his mouth, telling people they're in quarantine violation, but they got a lot more beef back in them because they um, get assistance from law enforcement officials. Here's another part of this uh, section 50. A state or local health officer may request a sheriff, constable, or other peace officer to assist the health officer in carrying out the provisions of this chapter. If the officer does not render the service, the officer is guilty of a misdemeanor and may be removed from office. Okay, so I'm going to guess most of you don't know who runs your county health board, and the reason you don't is because these are not elected men and women at all. They are appointed by a board and they cannot be removed by the public. So normally with our elected officials, if we feel that one of them has violated their oath or we don't feel that they are representing us well, we can simply not vote for them next time and hopefully get a new um, representative in. These guys, are not accountable to us at all. They have never had to take an oath of office. Um, they are not required to follow the uh, Montana Constitution or the National Constitution as well, which I find really fascinating because in order to be part of the Union, the Montana has to follow the Constitution of the United States, and we also follow our own Constitution. Every single elected official who is sworn in pledges an oath they're not going to violate that constitution. These guys don't have to do that. So we have no idea what um, they stand for. They've just been appointed by a board. They are very screened off from the public and they get to control almost every facet of our life right now without any repercussions for it. And um, I find that concerning. I find it also concerning that they have the power to remove elected officials. And you want to stand back and say, well, wait a second, who put you in charge? Well, we don't know because it wasn't us for sure. So that is an incredible amount of power given to our health officers. Um, it's just fascinating to me. Like, is that in itself even legal? I mean, it's it's legal according to the law in the state right now, but is that is that coming up against like legalness with the Constitution? I, this seems like really confusing. Like, is it legal? Is it not? Oh, I don't know. Um, but it seems super sketch, just to be honest, that they these guys have that much power. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, law, a link to it in my um, 
description down below so you can go and read it for yourself if you are so inclined. Um, I also, you may be of the mind where you're like, you know what? I bet they have our best interests at heart. These guys are health professionals. They are not going to do anything to harm us. They are, um, they're representing uh, health. Okay. Cause they're not representing us. So they should be in charge of a crisis is what you may say. Um, I find that very disconcerting for myself personally, because I don't like the idea that I can vote for like a sheriff who's supposed to represent us. And he can say, I am not doing this because this is against my oath to the constitution and they can just remove him from power. They have that much power. And the reason I'm not okay with this is because I don't like the idea that these guys can issue a statewide lockdown of all businesses, all homes, and uh, we can't do anything about it. They could weld us into our houses to keep us in quarantine, and we could not do anything about it. They could demand we wear armbands when we go out to buy goods and services, and they could not, uh, we could not do anything about it. And I'm using these examples for a reason. I'm not being extreme here. They could demand we wear face masks everywhere we go, and uh, we couldn't do anything about it. And they could say, you know, those men and women who are on the front line fighting COVID-19, the health professionals, we're concerned about their children, that they might get this. So we're, for the time being, we've decided to remove their children from their home just to make sure they don't get this virus. And we couldn't do anything about that. Now, if that doesn't bother you, that somebody has all this power, we don't even know who they are. Um, and they can just issue these decrees and the police have to respond and do what they say. If that, they, I mean, they've never taken an oath of office. They have absolutely no obligation to represent us and our interests in any way. I mean, we're just banking on the fact that they're going to be a good moral person and not require these things. Now, the reason I bring up these extreme examples is because this stuff is actually happening around the world. The welding people in the house, they're doing that in China. And I'm sorry, some of you are all like, we need to do what they're doing in China. As for me, I don't want to be welded into my house. I feel like that would irritate me just a smidge. Um, requiring face masks. I saw a video, some guy in Philadelphia got dragged off of a bus because he didn't have a face mask on. Um, I don't know all the details to it, um, especially as a woman. I don't like the idea that I'm being told to cover up my face when I go out. I get it's for health, but really I need to be arrested for that. Um, and then this terrifying one, some doctor's kids and ER doctor's kids were removed from his home um, for the time being because they were worried that the kids might get it. And I'm sorry, you want to talk about terrifying um, thing? Somebody saying, you know, for the health of your children, we're just going to remove them. Wow. The armband thing. I am so embarrassed to say that is a Montana County that is doing it. I didn't believe it when I read the article, but apparently Valley County in Montana, I went to their county health board page. They are doing armbands. And in order to do uh, business, essential business, or to buy goods and services, you have to have an issued armband from the health department. Now, when I heard that, I pictured like something that was yellow and up here on the arm, maybe sign of ethnicity right there, but they're actually pink on the wrist, super small. And it was kind of adorable on their page because I don't know if they just didn't make the connection that maybe um, as far as PR goes, that might not be the best thing to put out. Because pe when people got on and they made that connection that most of us are all making right now, um, and they put something on that page it's saying, you know, what's with the armbands, uh, the, bless their hearts, 
the county health, whoever was doing their Facebook page, tried to backpedal and make it sound like not as bad as it was, but it's like, that is a super awkward thing to do. And um, if you had any ear to the road about what it is like to deal with people, why would you even think in a million years that is a good idea? And that's my concern. I mean, do we have people running the state whose expertise um, belongs in, to things that fit in a Petri dish? And anything that is bigger than a Petri dish, they are not experts at, but they are in charge of everything. I mean, there's lots of areas of expertise. I'm not saying their opinion is invalid. I'm saying the fact that they have absolute power to do what they want. I mean, these are just people. They're people like you and me. And they can, absolute power corrupts absolutely. It is very terrifying, the amount of um, non-accountability we see with this. Um, and so I'm going to have links to contact our reps about this because this needs to be overturned the next session. This is an awful law. Um, I do have apathy sometimes about contacting our representatives. Sometimes I'm like, are they really listening? But it might be fun for them to get like 20 phone calls about getting this law overturned. So I'm going to put a link in the description where you can contact them, how you can get a hold of them. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, I've had a lot of people contact me about marching. Um, and I wanted to let you know that if we march, more than likely the county health board is going to send somebody down there to break it up. Um, and I don't know what will happen then. Um, obviously, we would be peaceful, but I just want you to know what you will be up against. So full disclosure, I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I'm just saying you need to realize that uh, we might not be in our legal rights. But I don't know, again, because it seems like they're saying there's a contradiction going on. So anyway, that was what I want to say today. I found the new information very useful. And I will have all those useful links in the description. So... Um, if you are somebody who says, I don't really see a problem with all these measures that they could take, I think it's necessary to keep people safe. I really feel like you don't know your history. Um, there is a reason people are squirming under this and they're very nervous and it is because history does repeat itself and you would be an absolute fool to not pay attention to what is going on. That's just the best way I can put it. Thanks, guys.